Hey, you look good. Welcome to my channel, Sir. You look good. In today's video, I'm going to show uh, lookup activity and for each activity um, in Azure <coughs> Data Factory by doing a real world example in which I will download the content of my table into my Azure blog. So, using this query, what we can do? We can list down all the tables which are present in my database. Okay. And what I am going to do? I am going to download all these contents into blob storage. So let's begin. Before that, I have already created a link service in my previous videos. First to my SQL database. This is my database uh, name. This is my username and the password. Okay. And this is my link service to Azure Blob. Okay, where this is my account name. Let's first create a pipeline. Here, search for lookup activity. Before that, let's create data sets. Let's first create a data, uh, data set to list down all the tables. List tables. We will use <coughs> the link service that we have created. We will not provide the table name here. Click on OK. OK. Let's give a name list tables. OK. Go to the setting tab and use the data set. Uh, okay. Let's also copy the query to and click on preview preview data. It will show the output. It's only showing one row. This is because we have selected this option. Now it's showing all the tables which are present here. Okay. Okay, now search for for each and connect it. By dragging and drop here. Okay. Okay. So what does basically lookup do? Lookup list on all the uh, output that and for each will iterate on each of its output one by one. Okay. So let's capture the output of lookup. Here you can see activity outputs, list tables, list table count, and list table value array. So we will only use. So iteratively, for each activity will capture the output of lookup table. Okay. Now let's go inside it and we will use copy data activity. <coughs> okay. So here source will be individual SQL tables and sync will be blob storage. Before that, let's create data sets. Same for SQL database. Click on continue. Uh, table. We will use the same link service. We will not mm, provide the table name here, but provide dynamically. Okay. Let's create parameters. First create the uh, schema name. Its type will be string. Let's give another table name. Table name. And type will be string. Let's go here and uh, click on edit here. Click on add dynamic content. First, we will provide. Uh, we will provide the schema name dot table name. Okay. 
let's also create data set for blob storage so search for blob our output file will be in form of delimited link service we will going to use same that we have created and uh, let's give the path we will create inside input um, okay click on okay and let's create inside source folder file we will give <coughs> afterwards dynamically okay click on none because we don't want import schema at output now let's go back to the pipeline click on copy data we will use uh, as go sql1 as data set okay uh it's asking uh, and the parameters that we have created are already given schema name and table okay just click on add dynamic content and we will use the output of for each item dot and uh, and let's click on it and database names come from this so let's give here and click on okay similarly for table name click on output of for each dot <coughs> table name so we are providing the database name schema name and table name dynamically okay right we have will insert let's okay we can also write uh, uh, delete from table name dot uh, schema name dot table name oh we have provided wrong okay here should be oh, we have to provide this in source okay my bad uh, let me copy paste here from here only so it will be faster okay schema name and similarly for sync click on okay okay go to sync we will going to use delimited text okay here, uh, here also let's uh, give the name of the file dynamically okay type will be scheme string only and give, click on dynamic content click on file name so uh, we have provided the file path will be like this input source and then the file name and we will give this file name from our pipeline okay. here the parameter came click on add dynamic content uh, okay and let's do one thing click search for concat okay inside which we will give uh, item dot <coughs> let's say table name okay comma let's give hyphen between it again comma here let's give item no 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 it should be outside code okay item dot let's give table name then dot csv dot csv so the output file will come like this dbo hyphen uh, let's say name of my table is cars dot csv click on okay <coughs> okay we don't want to import schema okay setting user property okay click on validate no issue and now let's go back to the pipeline and click on debug to check whether our pipeline is running or not 
okay meanwhile let's go here and refresh to check whether the folders are being created or not it's under progress only okay so list table is successful and for each operator is running click on refresh yeah our source folder is created and three of our files is being downloaded we can view the output of list tables lookup activity by clicking here you can see there are uh, that uh, this query that we written returns four output so here it shows it the count is four and the output is like this and our for each activity it reads each of its item okay as you can see uh, our pipeline run is successful and our uh, file uh, the data uh, tables are been downloaded in form of csv so hope you enjoy the video kindly like and subscribe to my channel and please press on bell icon to be notified for the new videos that i am publishing so have a nice day